Hi there, Ruben here for Native Instruments, and in this video I'll be taking a look at some standout instrument and effects collections from Archeria. So that's V Collection 9, FX Collection 3, and also Archeria's flagship synth, Pigments 4. These cutting-edge tools for composers, producers, and sound designers feature authentically modeled sounds, thousands of presets, and loads of parameter adjustments. There are also super useful inbuilt interactive tutorials to get you up and running. Most of Arturia's instruments and effects are compatible with Native Instruments NKS standard, meaning that they come with audio previews for complete control and machine, and hardware dials automatically mapped to the most useful instrument parameters, so they'll slot right into your workflow. If you haven't already, do check out Alex Hollingsworth's great video from last year, breaking down his track made with Arturia tools. For this video, I've put together a couple of quick sketches in two distinctly different styles. Have a quick listen, I'll play the tracks in full at the end of the video. The first 80s inspired sketch uses Arturia's newly released instruments and effects, plus some of their instruments that have been rebuilt from the ground up for improved functionality and sound. The second sketch is a bit more freestyle, where I've handpicked some stellar presets from the entire instrument collection and the Arteria effects suite to conjure up a dance floor banger. So let's take a look at the first sketch using a variety of new instruments and effects. The track begins with a patch from the delightfully twisted augmented strings, brand new to V Collection 9. This is Arturia's dual layer take on real world strings combined with synthesis. Most Arturia instruments have multiple panels, often named advanced or something similar, where you can dive into the specific parameters of the instruments. In this case, you can access layer playback parameters, modulation, arpeggiator, effects, and macro assignments. As you can see, even with seemingly simple instruments, there's a lot going on under the hood. I've automated the FXA macro in this case. Like augmented strings, augmented voices performs the same synthesis tricks with choirs and solo vocal performances. This time automating the morph dial maps between a sustained sound and a more rhythmic feel. Don't forget, every Archeria instrument comes with hundreds of presets for instant inspiration. <laughs> Moving on to something Archeria are probably best known for, their authentic modelled synth instruments. All of Arturia's synths are precisely recreated from the original hardware down to the last details. Plus, they normally include new features and functions that offer workflow improvements. New to V Collection 9, the SQ80V is a rock solid recreation of Ensonic's iconic digital synth from the 1980s. One aspect I really love is that each plugin has a tutorial mode which gives information about the history of the instrument and also walks you through sound creation using simple concepts unique to that synth model. During the tutorials, you're shown exactly which parameters to change and explanations of what every dial does. Another instrument new to the collection, Korg MS20V, features a raw analog sound with a semi-modular architecture. I've used it sparingly in my track. Another thing that I love about the Arturia synths is that even with instruments like the MS-20, with loads of dials and patch cables, you can tweak the sound really easily, using these macro dials across the bottom just here. In this way you don't have to dive too deep into a synth's architecture, if you just want to make some simple changes. Four of the instruments of V Collection 9 have been completely rebuilt, and I've used those in the next four tracks. The CS80V is a legendary Japanese synth closely linked to the score for Blade Runner. It's great for evolving pads and modulating sound design, a field that's difficult to recreate. I 
I've used it in my track for a simple swell, making use of that brightness macro dial that I mentioned before. The Profit VSV captures the digital precision of vector synthesis with plenty of modulation options via the XY axis joystick that controls the four oscillators. I've chosen a bouncy bass line from one of the many presets. I've also used one of the new Arturia effects, Dist Tube Culture for vowel flavoured saturation. It's worth mentioning that even Arturia's effects have tutorial modes, very useful for learning the intricacies of the plugins. Another rebuilt instrument, the Prophet 5V, is an absolute classic. Featured on hundreds of hit songs, this instrument exudes analog warmth. Version 3 of Arturia's piano plugin is overhauled too, containing lots of different styles of piano. The sound is physically modelled to recreate authentic mechanical and sonic behaviour. This means that tweaking the many presets is easy, so be sure to explore the advanced controls for modelling, acoustic, mics, EQ and reverb adjustments. To create the otherworldly delay and ambience of this track, I've used Arturia's new EFX fragments. This is a complex granular processor that chops up the sound into stutters, reverses, and experimental textures. Arturia's flagship synth, Pigments, has been given a new, fresh feel with version 4, and it includes plenty of innovations. These include a play mode for a simplified view of the action, a refreshed interface with a high contrast light mode, drag and drop modulation editing, enhanced engines, and new filters and effects. As well as melodic sounds, there are drums, including the kick, snare, and percussion that I've used for this track. With hundreds of presets also integrated into NKS browsing, it's easy to find the sound that you need. For the percussion, I've also applied one of the new FX Collection 3 effects. This one adds colour and saturation to the sound. For a quick and dirty master, I've used Isotope's Ozone 10. It's got brilliantly intelligent automation for when you're short on time but still want great results. Up next, the second sketch which has a kind of trancey feel with a tight 4-4 kick, vocoded percussion, plucked synths, arpeggio bassline and some fat TB303 action towards the end of the track. I've used synths and effects from Arturia that I haven't necessarily used in the previous track. So let's take a look. The track begins with some plucked chords from Arturia's take on the legendary Juno 6. This is a classic rave station with an iconic chorus circuit. Mod wheel is automatically assigned to filter envelope amount, so that's being modulated throughout the track. The name of this next patch should give a hint as to its inspiration, 90s Insomniac. These are the augmented strings that you saw in the last cue, this time sounding anything but string-like. The morph control is automated to slowly transform from a pizzicato string to a synth pluck. I've placed a delay effect on the instrument, Delay Tape 201, an organic sounding spring reverb modelled on vintage hardware. 
With the preset ping pong trance delay and automation on the wet dry mix, this adds space and depth to the sound. The next track features Archeria's SEMV, modelled on an expansion oddity from Oberheim that became really popular for polyphonic playing. This is a really versatile instrument with some straightforward controls on the front panel. Creamy dual oscillator strings are augmented by two effects plugins. Chorus Dimension D is modelled on the deceptively simple but ubiquitous Roland Dimension D, giving smooth chorus and expansion. Rev Intensity is an algorithmic reverb with a totally original Archeria design. This innovative reverb designer can do everything from subtle widening to conjuring envelope following cinematic landscapes. I've automated the wet dry balance and width to focus the sound as the strings play through. The next track is a piano preset from Piano V, this time an upright with a closer sound. These next two tracks play a pair of deep bass sounds from Mini V and Synclavia V. The Mini V is a spot on recreation of the 1970s Mini Moog monosynth. Mini V was actually developed in partnership with the creators of the original hardware. Try out the presets for a taste of the classic sounds. The mod wheel handles the filter cutoff in this case. I've used Arturia's Bus Force Parallel Compressor with some low pass settings to EQ, compress and saturate the signal. I've used the same compression settings on the next track, a sound from the Synclavia V. Mixing together analog and digital sounds is always a fun technique, and this recreation of the Synclavia is 100% authentic, as it was co-developed with the original inventor, Cameron Jones. The fun of this instrument is that you can access parameters inspired by the original panels and screen. When Arturia say that they do analog modeling, they really do analog modeling. And you can see that right down to the cabling with this ARP 2600V. This semi-modular classic features patch cables that you can drag around and all the features of the original unit, plus some improvements for usability. You can dive in and learn synthesis concepts or just stick to the presets. <laughs> I really love to use vocoder plugins in my tunes and Arturia's Vocoder V is one of the best ones out there. This transformative plugin can take a source signal from a voice or you can load in your own samples. In this case, I've used the preset Time is Ticking and then replaced the preset sample with a loop of my own. Add some ping pong from Delay Eternity and we're good to go. The baseline of the main section is from Buchler Easel V, a unique modular synth with complex oscillators and parameters that are ripe for tweaking. The straight arpeggio of this preset is given an extra bounce by adding Filter Mini, the authentic 70s monosynth filter that opens on the downbeat. V Collection 9 is stuffed full of classic organ sounds. Here I've used the rotary B3V to lend some gospel vibes.
As before, Pigments 4 does a lot of the heavy lifting for this track. This first sound is an EDM kick, given a lift by the compression of CompFET 76, an industry standard compressor all rounder. Pigments really excels at unusual sound design moments, and these evolving glitch oscillations really showcase that kind of processing. The last sound that I wanted to throw into the mix is a classic scream of a TB303, recreated here by Pigments. The sequence page makes it easy to program melodies and bass lines. I've also applied the shimmer reverb in the effects section, and this is an effect new to Pigments 4. The only non Arteria sounds on this track are from this top loop and the atmospheric clap fed through Arteria's RevPlate 140 reverb. A bright and echoey effect. As before, I've performed some rudimentary mastering with Isotopes Ozone, using the mastering assistant for some fast results. So those are my two sketches showing Arturia's instruments and effects. I hope you've enjoyed the breakdown. Thanks for watching and here are the two tracks in full.